Welcome to the Red Carpet Movie Review. Today we're going to review The Hitman's Bodyguard. Ladies and gentlemen, live from Hollywood, California, welcome to the Red Carpet Review. Starring the showstopper, Sean Valentino. Also starring Rich Twilling. This week's special guest, supermodel Maddie Rose. Today we review The Hitman's Bodyguard. Live from the red carpet. Hey everybody, this is Sean Valentino, your host on the Red Carpet Movie Review. And today we're going to be reviewing The Hitman's Bodyguard. Now The Hitman's Bodyguard is directed by Patrick Hughes and it stars Samuel L. Jackson and Ryan Reynolds. And it tells the story of a down and out bodyguard by the name of Bryce, who's played by Reynolds, and his quest to redeem himself by protecting this hitman by the name of Darius, played by Samuel L. Jackson. And in the movie, Darius is called aboard to testify against an Eastern European dictator who's being put on trial for crimes against humanity. And Darius agrees to testify against him for exoneration of his wife, Sonia, who has been put in jail for some reason we don't really know about. And this is really a convoluted tale, but also a cliched one that we've seen a hundred times before. You have, you have Reynolds and Samuel L. Jackson kind of going through the motions, playing characters they played a hundred times before. You have Reynolds as Bryce, who's kind of this down and out guy who is kind of this goofy but heroic character, which is something that Reynolds has played many times. You have Jackson as this trash talking hitman who's not only trying to redeem himself, he's also trying to save his wife. So the whole movie is your classic opposites attract buddy tale that we've seen a thousand times before. You have Reynolds and Samuel L. Jackson who kind of become friends in their misadventures and have a mutual respect for each other as these two misfit type characters. And you have Selma Hayek who is just unwatchable here. She's just extremely, extremely annoying as this mouthy prisoner. I mean, this whole movie is really just an annoying mess. I mean, Samuel L. Jackson is really good doing his shtick in limited quantities, but here you have him doing it for an entire film, and it just really gets old after about a half hour. Unfortunately, you have to sit through this nonsense for about two hours. And the only thing that could have redeemed this for me is if the hitman just realized how annoying his wife was and just took a shot at her and then just turned the gun around and just shot himself because both of these characters are just unwatchable throughout an entire film. But unfortunately, we didn't see that. And this entire film is pretty much all action, but it's really no excitement. It's just very dull, cliched action sequences. It's a very generic plot that we've seen a thousand times before and we really don't need to see again. The performances are pretty good by Reynolds and Samuel L. Jackson. But at the end of the day, they were really not given much to do here because of this convoluted screenplay and just really an uninspired film overall. And so one of those movies that might be fun if you're just sitting at home and have Netflix on, but to go watch this on the big screen is just really a horrible experience. I highly recommend that you do not go see this movie because the only thing that's going to take a hit is your wallet. And we here at the Red Carpet Review like to rate our movies on a five-star scale. And I'm going to give The Hitman's Bodyguard one and a half stars on a five-star scale. There's some entertaining moments here, but overall it's just a cliché jumbled mess of generic action sequences and annoying performances. So right now we have one of our movie experts here. What did you feel about this Red Carpet Review of The Hitman's Bodyguard? Exactly. Thank you for that expert opinion, and thank you so much for watching. Be sure to click that like button and press subscribe, and we'll see you next week on the red carpet. Thank you for watching the red carpet review. Proceed to click that like button and press subscribe for weekly movie reviews past and present. We'll see you soon on the red carpet.